Okay, we're going to do lesson 2-3, multiplying by 0 and 1. Okay, so when we multiply by 1, we call it the identity property of multiplication because the number, the factor that you're multiplying by 1 gets to stay the same, keep its identity. Okay, so here we have, there's one muffin on each napkin. These are all napkins, they each have a muffin. So the multiplication equation for the number of the napkins is we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five groups of one, and how many muffins total do we have? We have five muffins, okay? So if each group has one, and so we're multiplying it times one, however many groups we have, that's the total number of muffins. If I had two more groups here and I had seven groups of one, I would have seven muffins, okay? So the one allows this other factor to keep its identity and stay the same. The zero property of multiplication means that we have no muffins. We have zero muffins here. So it, however many groups we have, we still have no muffins. I can have 45 napkins up here, but if I have 45 groups of zero muffins, I have zero muffins. Same as if I had six groups of zero muffins. So there are zero muffins on each napkin. The multiplication equation for the number of muffins is six groups of zero, which equals zero, okay? You always have to be able to, um, yeah, that, that's fine. So six groups of zero is equal to zero. All right, so what does this picture show, okay? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven groups of what? How many are in each group? It should be one. We have seven groups of one, so how many dots total do we have? Seven, okay? So that's the, the identity property of multiplication when you multiply times one. What does this picture show? We have one, two, three, four, five. Five groups of what? How many are in each group? Zero. So how many do I have total? Zero. Okay, we have five groups of zero. Don't, don't think that they're asking you to count the squares. This is just showing you it's a group. They're asking you how many things do you have inside these bags? Well, there's nothing in any of the bags. So it doesn't matter if I have 27 bags. If I have 27 bags of nothing, I have nothing. Okay? So any number times zero is going to equal zero. So let's draw a picture of counters that show nine groups of one. So give yourself nine groups and put one of something in it. You can put a star, you can put a dot. Okay, and now I want you to write a multiplication problem and write the product. How many dots total do you have? You have nine groups of one and that equals what? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, draw a picture that shows eight groups of zero. All right, well, let's just draw eight groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And inside each group, we have what? Nothing. So, how many do we have? Don't count, this, don't count the circles. The circles are just basically empty bags, okay? So, we have... An empty bag of nothing, 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 nothing. We have eight groups of nothing, and that equals a grand total of nothing. Okay, good job.